What is going on everybody? I am Andrew Greaves with Navac Tools and today I've got a very exciting new product to share with you all and it is the 2023 NTB7L battery operated tubing bender. If you have a lot of experience with bending soft copper, you'll know that once you start getting past three quarter, it becomes a very hard and laborious task for people using a traditional ratchet style crossbow bender. We wanted to take all the best elements of the crossbow design, but take the manual labor element out of it. For people that are gonna be doing lots of install work, want to save time and money on brazing and fitting costs, having a tool that enables to do so without the associated fatigue and awkwardness in some positions was Navac's ultimate aim and I think they knocked it out of the park. To quickly get some of the stats out of the way, this tool uses a lithium ion battery 7.4 volt. It uses a brushless DC motor, is used for soft ACR copper from quarter inch to seven eighths. With a battery power indicator, easy release baffle, and yes, the burning question for everybody watching this video right now probably is yes, we do have a reverse bending attachment for the NTB7L. Now bear in mind it will be sold separately, but space for the reverse attachment has been made available inside the blow molded case for the bender itself. So if you do invest in the reverse attachment, the case will accommodate it just fine. So from here, we'll go ahead, we'll pop open the case, we'll cut a little copper, and let's get to work. Okay. And I've already removed the battery and charger so I can have it prepared to go for this demonstration, but just know that it is included in this case. So first we've got the tool itself. It is surprisingly lightweight, as I mentioned before, at only 6.2 pounds. We have a single T-bar for this tool. Some of the other tools on the market have several T-bars in order to accommodate all the sizes of copper that it can handle. What we did instead to minimize clutter is to make one bar that supports every size and the only thing you would possibly potentially change is the location or position of these two assemblies. You can see on this little scale here that if you are doing seven eighths or three quarter, for example, you are going to be in this widest number one position. If you decide to change it up and bend some half inch, then we need to move to the number two position. Simply loosen the knob here and use slide until you hear a positive click. Repeat the step here. Tighten your nut and you're all set to attach to the tool. We are now left with our orange pieces. These are our mandrels. These are the pieces that will actually seat on the tubing and press upward as it makes its long radius sweeping bend. As I mentioned before, although it's sold separately, the NTBRK reverse bending accessory can be purchased and added to your kit. The case already includes the necessary recesses to accommodate both pieces. These are very heavy duty. These will not break. There will be no doubt in your mind that it is a quality piece of hardware. Now that we've got the grand tour completed, let's go ahead and assemble our bender, get some copper cut, and get bending. So we'll take the tool itself, we'll set it aside, grab my T-bar. Now for this demonstration, I'm not gonna bend 3 8 nobody wants to see that. We're gonna max the tool out with some 7 8 ACR soft copper. According to our quick guide, 7 8 copper is going to be in our number one position. Loosen. The wing nuts here pop our assemblies to the ends in that number one position and retighten. We will hear as it seats on the correct position for 7 8 tubing. Much like other crossbow benders on the market, the T bar will fix to the tool. Holy shit. Ensure that's nice and finger tight, as snug as you can really get it with your hand, frankly. Once that is in place, you can see the beginning of our drive rod stubbed out right there. That is where our mandrel will be placed. It will also make a positive click sound when it seats and our tool is just about ready to go. Right on the side here, we've got our power button. We'll press that on. Once the power button's turned on, you will notice under the handle is our battery life indicator showing 25% increments starting at 100% working its way down to zero. Again, we'll double check that the tool is actually turned on. And at that point, 
We can slide our copper into the mandrel. Again, double check that we are in seven eighths on both of our knob assemblies. And by sliding your thumb forward on the switch, it will begin the bending process. Now, if you release your thumb, there will be a positive stop on the tool. This is one of the huge advantages to the mechanism that we've developed for this tool. It truly gives the technician ultimate accuracy and control of the angle they wish to bend. Now, for the sake of this demonstration, we're gonna go full 90, which is the max bend on this tool. Okay, we have hit our 90 degree angle. You saw how smooth and quickly that was performed. I would challenge anybody with a ratcheting style crossbow bender to crank out a 90 degree bend that quickly and smoothly single-handed. For some of you guys and gals out there that really have a true kung fu grip and well-developed forearms, maybe you get it done once. I highly doubt it can be done repeatedly and consistently for a job. Now to demonstrate the positive stop, I'm gonna back out. Stop. 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 And now, I saved this for last. This is a little cute feature we've added here. This little piece of steel sticking out of the side of the bender is not just there to look good or protect your hand or anything like that. That, pops, pops the copper right out of the mandrel for you. For those of you that do have experience with uh, this type of bender, You'll know that on some of the larger sizes of copper, these can really get wedged into those mandrels and they're a pain in the butt to remove. Now, if we take the piece of copper that we just bent, you can see we've got a nice sweeping angle. And for those of you particularly installing R410A units or other VRF units, ductless VRF variable speed units, you know how important oil return is and sweeping bends and minimal sharp turns help to ensure this. Another thing worth pointing out, if you look to the inside of this bend, we have a very smooth, clean bend. Something that's also kind of a chronic issue out in the field is benders will often create big, deep creases and ridges that go all along the inside angle of that pipe. Now, if you are a technician that has also invested in our battery-operated power swedging tool, the NTE11H, then at this point, you could take it, you could hit it with your 7 8 attachment on either end, and now you've created your own sweeping 90 fitting. So in situations where you may not have the clearance, maybe in a drop ceiling, et cetera, to swing and make a bend if you've got maybe four feet coming off the end here. In that case, you could either prefab it on the ground or if you're already up in the ceiling and you've already got the line set secured on stirrups or other types of hangers, you can go ahead and create your own sweeping 90 and get the next best option. Let's go ahead and throw the reverse attachment on so you can see how well that performs as well. We will take the top half of our bending attachment and fix it to the tool the same way we did the T-bar. We'll take our second piece and it will place right onto the drive rod of the tool. Once that fits over the stem, we'll use the set screw on the right side here to go ahead and secure it. Let it rip. And there you have your reverse bend as well. We'll back the T-bar off. Once again, we've got a nice smooth inside edge, smooth outside bend, and another job well done. While I break the tool down and put it back into its case, we can talk a little bit about what this may look like in a field setting. National Training Manager for NAVAC Tools, Brian Schwartz, used the tool recently on a rooftop job. After running some soft copper and some conduit, he showed how the NTB7L power bender can work in perfect tandem with our NTE11H power expanding tool. By taking the time up front to measure and do a crystal clean layout, he was able to finish strong by some of the most buttery smooth bends I've seen out in the field. It's this type of job where you can really start to see the possibilities when you've got this trio, the break-free series of battery-operated tubing tools, which started with our NEF6LN battery-operated flaring tool, continued on with the NT11H power expander, and finished ever so nicely with the NTB7L battery-operated bender from NAVAC. As always, stay safe out there in the field, and thank you for continuing to allow NAVAC to empower you to work smarter.